Hello folks, I'm going to give you a little short video of my 1950 Craftsman model 101-27440 metal cutting lathe. It was originally bought May 28th, 1950. has a quick change gearbox on it. And other than that, it's pretty much standard with the Craftsman half horsepower electric motor 1750 RPM. I did add the link belt system to this lathe. And with the uh, headstock turning, it is fairly quiet. Uh, once the gears are engaged for the quick change gearbox, it's a little bit of chatter. The bench that I made for this lathe is uh, fairly heavy. Uh, it was all stock lumber from Lowe's. The top is made out of two by sixes, uh, two portions of uh, two by six by twelves for the top, with a two by four running through the center, which is supported by a boxed frame of two by sixes. The legs are made out of four by four posts, and I have a shelf at the bottom that is made out of two by fours. Uh, put some plywood down to make a shelf. I incorporated a few drawers that were made here. Uh, the original bench that this lathe was on uh, was made in the 50s. It was pretty well has seen the end of its life. Uh, the only thing I was able to salvage from it is this top drawer and an old sewing machine drawer that they had incorporated to keep some small tools in. And we have a threading gauge, small calipers, and then a little Starrett slide pocket caliper. In the top drawer, we have various uh, some tools, all kinds of different cutting tools, uh, milling cutters, center rests, uh, various chucks. One of the chucks that I find most ingenious is this homemade half inch chuck. Everything was made on this lathe to make this homemade drill chuck. Bottom drawer is more or less of a bin. And in here I have a three jaw scroll chuck, the milling attachment, and in the back here there's the independent four jaw chuck, which is a craftsman chuck. Uh, the steady rest, the three jaw chuck is made by Skinner out of uh, New Britain, Connecticut. Uh, we have the face plate, a unknown make follower rest that was adapted to use on this lathe, and the dogs for the face plate for turning. So, at some point in time, we'll put another video out with uh, the lathe in operation. And some other little vintage tools here is the 150 drill press that I have sitting beside the old lathe. I put up my, my pegboard with a couple common used tools for the lathe. But short of that, I hope you enjoyed this small video. And we shall show you something else next time. Have a good day.